Hello my VM friends. I want to talk about another of the core plugins today. Uh, something that I just couldn't live without. But first I want to show you how do you open files in Vim. Now I'm pretty sure that most of you know this. In Vim if you want to open the file you go like E and then you specify the path. For instance SQL install.sql. Bam. There we go. However this just isn't good enough. So today I'm going to show you uh, a pretty cool plugin called Control P, and what it does is really magical. Now let's go back to our project, uh, and the the way you open Control P is using Control P. It's pretty simple, and what you get is this <clears throat> little pop-up, which lists all of your files. But here's the crazy part: this little plugin features uh, a thing called fuzzy search which allows you to find the files that you're looking for with rapid rapid speed. Uh, let me give you an example. So let's say I want to reopen the file that I had opened previously which was in SQL. I type SQ. Okay it has actually okay that's the only file in there so it has matched it. So let me try something else. Let's say I want to find something in the app and it has to end with .js. Okay, I've just matched all of my JavaScripts, for instance. I could I could uh, do it even easier if I just said .js. So as you can see, you don't have to specify the full path. You can just specify the part of of the file name, or you can just specify the initials. For example, A for app, G for JavaScript, and M for main, and bam. Uh, but they don't even have to be the initials. I could, I could instead of, um, instead of um, the initials, say just A for app, for instance, and then do dot js, and that would match it too. So it's pretty cool. Now <clears throat> the way you use it uh, is also really nice. You can open the file in the current buffer. So, for instance, uh, my, my install.sql, you can just hit enter and it will open it, like so. Or, I can uh, open my JavaScript, I can do it in a new tab using Control t and that will open it into its own tab. Or, um, let's go open this file in new tab too, but then in, in, in um, in a split screen, open its test. So, test um, using Control V, and if you use Control S, it would open in in horizontal split. So that's pretty cool. Now, many of you are still used to the old way of doing things, like the way the Sublime Text or Eclipse or Visual Studio do it, using uh, file tree. And we have that in Vim as well. The plugin is called uh, Nerd Tree. Nerd Tree. Okay, here it is. And I have it set so it opens with F5. So if we go back, F5, this opens the Nerd Tree. So you get your traditional, um, like, preview of the directory structure, and you can open the files like so. Okay? And you can also do things like uh, split screen and whatever. That's pretty cool too. Now lastly I want to show you another plugin uh, which is based on Nurtree. It's called Vim Vinegar by Team Pope. And I'm actually gonna move it to Nurtree if I can type. I'm gonna move it here because it's not in experimental mode anymore. Okay, so let me show you this. Let's say I have opened one of my JavaScripts. Okay, now let's say I want to see the other JavaScript files in the same directory. The quickest way to do it is to toggle the vinegar plugin and do it like so bam, and I have access to all of my JavaScripts from there. It's based on Nurtree, so it has pretty much the same uh, shortcuts 
which you can see using the question mark helper. So thank you guys for watching and see you in the next video.